Hey guys, we are back for another follow-up video. This is on the coleus propagation that I posted last week, as well as some other coleus experimentation that I've been doing, which we will get to in a minute. Let's start with the cuttings, the propagation for the spring. Started early this year. Um, what I did was I recently got some new grow lights, LEDs that are red and blue, and they are making these plants grow so quickly and the color is popping. Look at the new leaves, how beautiful that is. These guys are getting some nice red, deep red wine color almost. These are getting a purple. I don't even know if this variety is supposed to get this color, but under these lights, it's, uh, it's bringing out some purple. And on this side, we have some rose color. Very nice. And they're growing extremely fast with these lights. And just to remind you guys what I do, I use these plastic cups. I cut a slit on the bottom corner. I add a yarn wick and I fill it with the soil and the cutting. And the tray that I keep them in has a mat of um, felt. So I don't water from the top, I water the felt, I water the tray, and the felt kind of absorbs the water and feeds the wick for all of these plants at a um, consistent rate so they don't get flooded and they're not overwhelmed with water. Um, the soil mixture that I use for these guys is a well-draining cactus and succulent mix that I add in, I cut in half and I add 50% perlite. So there's a lot of perlite in here for those roots to get some air, it drains well, and really it doesn't even need to drain well because I'm watering through the wick so it wicks up through the through capillary action through the soil and the perlite. So it works really well. And under the grow lights, they are just booming. They're growing so fast. So yeah, these are the cuttings doing very well. Next, we're gonna move on to semi-hydro. This was a cutting that I removed the growing tip to make another cutting. And it's got two new growing tips now because that's what they do. This is in lava rock. And I have a similar setup like I do for the cuttings. I have a, I cut a slit in the corner of the bottom of the cup and I keep it in a reservoir full of water slash nutrient solution. Same thing goes for this guy back here. I just use a mug as the reservoir and same thing with those two back there. Now, another thing I've been experimenting with is growing coleus in nothing but yarn and the a nutrient solution. I did this because I've had a lot of success getting plants to root like orchids and uh, other plants that I've rescued that kind of are in a bad place that need to grow some roots because they just don't have any or they experience root rot like some of my African violets. So I've noticed that wrapping the stem in some yarn and having it dip into a nutrient solution or just into water when I'm trying to root it it has, the plants have grown roots and they continue to thrive. So I decided, let me try with coleus. Coleus is very easy to root, very easy to grow and a lot of fun. I just love coleus. So I did and sure enough, this guy rooted in nothing but yarn and in the reservoir, I don't know if you can see it, the roots are starting to grow down from the yarn into the solution and it is doing very well. No signs of anything bad going on here. Um, same thing with this one here. I just took some yarn, bunched it up at the bottom, took the cutting, stuck it in. I kept this damp slash moist, the, um, the yarn, and it rooted into the yarn and it's continuing to grow. I haven't been giving this one enough light. I'm probably gonna put this under the grow lights because believe it or not, this is the same variety as this one. But you can see grow light, no grow light. Big difference, right? Anyway, you can see um, at the bottom the roots that are growing through the yarn. It's fascinating to me. I just, uh, I love experimenting like this. Okay, so that's just the plain old yarn. The next experiment was the Kokodama. Now because, which is um, a moss ball, the roots are wrapped in sphagnum moss and bound by yarn. That's how I uh, do my Kokodama. Now because Coleus is such a water lover, they kept drying out way too quickly, so I decided to hook the Kokodama up to a yarn wick, 
kind of like what I do in the um, in the rooting cups that you just saw before. So that wick goes down into the nutrient solution and it feeds the moisture up. It keeps this Kokodama root ball um, moist at all times. And sure enough, the plant started to boom and get some new leaves. So far I've gotten two pairs of leaves, um, having been in the Kokodama. And you can see the roots are starting to grow down from this one too, because they just want to get to the nutrient solution. Fine by me, do whatever you need to do, as long as you uh, are healthy, happy, and growing. Same thing with this puppy here. This little guy I put into a Kokodama, a small one, in this little tube. And I have the wick going down into the bottom. And I don't see any roots yet, but the plant has already grown a pair of leaves on this cutting. So we will continue and see how this goes. Aside from those experiments, I also do the usual growing in just plain old water. This guy's doing well. This was a cutting I didn't think was going to make it, but I said, ah, let me just throw it in water. And of course, it's thriving because coleus is relentless, and I love coleus. So yeah, uh, we have a lot going on here in the coleus world, and there are more coming. I have seedlings um, from seeds that I planted about a week and a half, two weeks ago. So those guys I will be featuring in the next video. They're just little babies at this point with cotyledons. They don't have any true leaves yet but I will show you those guys as they start to develop some color. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, at this point, that is all we've got for the coleus. So hopefully you guys found this interesting like I did because I love experimenting. If you like experimenting with plants, leave a comment below and we can talk about it because I love talking plants. If you have any questions about anything that you see here, or if you wanna try this for yourself, just uh, shoot me a comment and I'll get right back to you. And we can experiment together. I love it. It's fun. Anyway, hope you had fun. Subscribe if you haven't. Send to everybody, you know, the thumbs up and the bell and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.